hate it here, so I will go to secret gardens in my mind. The only thing that's mine. What was that scream? <laughs> adjective and description to use for my life right now <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do is just get life back on the right track this is gonna be a reset video this is gonna be the third video in a row that I try to read Percy Jackson the last Olympian I never get it read. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully this will be the last one. <laughs> That's what I'm currently reading right now. Should I change? Should I not read that? Let's not read that. Ah! Alright, here's some options. Here's some options, okay? I could read Roundabout by Fong Guyen. Seems like an easy read. Crown of Midnight, the Jazz Savage Moss, my girl. I wish this camera was like higher, but then it would be above my shelves. And this, tell me this background is not giving. gold-plated prisoner but what a pretty prison it is this these sprayed edges are literally gross they look dirty it's because it's sprayed gold but the thing is like the chapter the chapter headings have these like beautiful pictures which is like nice and all right but because it's like dark on the side it makes the edge look dark too and it ruins the spray it's literally so gross. Okay. Um, I don't think I want to read this right now. Book when I was a precocious child. This is a possible contender. Am I in a mood for something spooky? I don't know. But it has short chapters. I feel like I'm in a mood for short chapters. And big font. This font is ginormous. Am I in the mood for spooky? Okay, tiny font. This is a 400 page book, but hear me out. I have it on Kindle. So I could make the font bigger. I heard this was funny, but am I in the mood for this? I don't think I'm in the mood for this. I have like eight days left on Kindle to read it. I'm just gonna, okay, it's a no. First line. <laughs> Homeboy has 10 seconds to divert his eyes from my ASS before I lose it. 10. None. Do I want to read this book? I face the pastry case filled with freshly baked donuts and scones, frowning at the reflection of the man behind me. I say homeboy, but in reality, he looks old enough to be my granddad. With his full gray mustache and a pair of reading glasses perched atop his shiny head, like most patrons flooding Moonbeam this early, he wears a business suit with wide tan slacks and a black blazer that lends no credibility to his character. I suddenly got hungry. Did you hear that? <laughs> Is it the donuts? <laughs> not, um, not when he's eyeing my backside like it's one of the butter croissants on display one this is my first time here what do you suggest i get sugar he says close enough for his brute aftershave to wrap me in a chokehold nope 
we are not playing this game, not today, when I'm already on edge anticipating the meeting that will help launch my new beginning or see it fail at groundbreaking speed. I whip my head around, I don't know why I had to do that, and glare, reaching deep into that ancestral pool of fortitude handed down from generations of resilient women who perfected the mess with me and die look why am I like I picture her like <laughs> yo I'm losing it I'm losing it oh, it's fake dating yo I think we're gonna read this <laughs> it says that Amory Price is jobless newly single and about to be evicted the last thing she needed was to run into her ex and his new girlfriend at her favorite coffee shop. Panicked, Amory pretends to be dating the annoyingly sexy man she just met. He plays along for a price. As their time together counts down, Amory must decide if she'll settle for the safe life or shoot for the stars. <laughs> Now that we've chaotically chosen a book, I'm gonna go and not read it. <laughs> I'm gonna clean the kitchen. I gotta clean the kitchen first. This is this is like a weird thing that I do. I don't know if y'all do this, but like I like to, you know, like people like they get themselves a little treat. I my treat is reading. So like when I need to get things done. I usually make a list of all the things I need to get done and then every time I check one thing off I get to read a chapter in my book which is why short chapter books work because if I read books with long chapters I get nothing done because it takes me too long to read the book <laughs> I'm a mess y'all it's all about confidence baby do you guys ever get like random tiktok sounds or songs stuck in your head and i say tiktok but i don't even use tiktok i use um instagram tiktoks always forget their name <laughs> anyways um today i am just getting some administrative stuff done which is weird to say that i have administrative stuff like with my own life to get done <laughs> like not work related administrative stuff it's so strange. Also, can we talk about how cute this mug is? It's like one of those oversized mugs. I usually use it like a bowl, but I figured that today I would use it for its real purpose. Which is coffee. I made myself a mocha latte, which I used instant coffee from Trader Joe's, a little bit of sweetened condensed milk and uh, cinnamon and a little bit of hot chocolate powder it's so good <laughs> honestly i outdid myself <laughs> anyways uh definitely have to clean my desk because if you could see the other side it's like insane um <laughs> like there's no space to put anything you can tell by the fact that i have to like lean over to put my coffee cup in one available spot um but anyways so i will definitely be clearing this out and then a couple of things um some things related to so I'm actually throwing a murder mystery dinner party for my birthday and I'm I'm torn I was thinking about doing a masquerade but I think I'm gonna end up doing like old Hollywood themes it's definitely gonna be dress up everyone must dress up I don't want to hear it no excuses um <laughs> it'll literally be, be on the invitation if you're not here to have fun then don't come <laughs> uh, but i do have to read over the contract and sign that because um i hired a company to kind of host the game some actors like someone to you know unalive themselves <laughs> um so definitely need to look over that actually in 10 minutes i have to go downstairs to meet the guy who's gonna take me to um look at the venue so i can start planning for start 
decorating and, and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. But when I come back, uh, I need to do some quick light cleaning because I'm just like, I can't function in this environment when it's dirty. <laughs> My house is a mess. Um, but I'm just going to do like some little tidying just for peace of mind. And then uh, I'm going to make a couple of reels and I need to edit, finish editing. It's really just, I need to finish the last few pages of this book. So I'll probably like just dedicate some time to just sit and finish that so i can film the outro and post that today by three so it's like three hours to do all of that <laughs> oh adulting is hard nothing makes me feel more like an adult than when i have <laughs> you know when you're like younger and everyone's always like oh i have to go run an errand like what even are errands what are those now i understand i have to go run an errand right now to go view this venue and do a couple of things for life. We'll see how today goes. Also, I'm really proud of myself because yesterday I sat down, I kind of like wrote down my morning routine that I used to do um, when I was working because I think I'm going back to work next week. So I want to start getting back into my habits routines so I wrote down like my morning routine my evening routine I'm gonna try to hit those starting today every day to just kind of get back in that groove um and then I took like honestly like four hours <laughs> um because I I mean to be fair I was watching um the Hunger Games it's leaving Netflix at the end of the month so I had to watch all of them um I was watching the last two movies, not the last two, because there's the song, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I haven't read or watched that movie. I don't plan to watch it until I read the book, but um, Mockingjay part one and part two, which I don't think I had ever known that there was a part two. <laughs> um, I can't remember, I can't remember watching a part two, but um, while I was watching those movies, I kind of sat down and went through all of the goals that I made at the beginning of the year, my vision board and everything, and just kind of adjusted like dates um, and like mini goals and stuff like that just to kind of match like where I am now. Unfortunately, um, I had a head injury uh, back in, in January. So a lot of the things that I thought I was gonna be doing this year, I haven't necessarily had to do, but I am really grateful to be honest, it sounds weird to say I'm grateful that I had a traumatic brain injury, but I am because <laughs> I think I was like just going through life, like just going through the motions of things. Everything was going really fast and I had done a lot of work last year to like work on my mental health not last year, the year before and I think that in the past like year I kind of just was living life on autopilot instead of like living intentionally and that kind of like I felt like regression with my mental health and stuff so I I just needed to kind of like take a step back and remind myself of that and you know like just think about everything that I had set out to do everything that I had prayed for and hopefully you know um I still think I didn't change any of like my large goals because even though I only have half a year to do it now, I still think they're feasible and we're going to give it a shot. Why not? Right? Dream big. Okay. It's definitely time for me to go see this place. Honestly, I've been pretty diligent today and I'm so surprised with how long <laughs> it has taken me to do the things that I had to do. Uh, like we're getting to evening now and i i've been working i've been putting in the work i finished the book i edited the video i uploaded the video like all the things it's just wow time really just flies i guess that's like a good feeling though when you're i, I like 
I am the type of person like I want to end the day and be like oh my god I did 20 things today like I did this 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 and I wouldn't necessarily say that I did like a lot of things but definitely things I needed to get done so that being said my friend just texted me and said that this package was waiting for me downstairs I don't know what I did to deserve this well we're two weeks off for my birthday so I'm not sure if that's why it's pretty early anyways let's let's see what it is i'm excited i have a i have a sneaky suspicion that this is the harry potter series <laughs> because okay hear me out we were talking about how his fiance made him watch one of the fantastic beast movies and then while they were watching he was like so confused and then uh, we ended up figuring out that he actually was watching like the second or third movie in the series instead of the first one and he was like I think I had to have watched the Harry Potter movies to watch this or I guess he thought it was one of the Harry Potter movies and I was like it's not a Harry Potter movie uh, like it definitely helps to have some of the lore and like understanding of like the magic and stuff to watch Harry Potter but I don't think you have to watch Harry Potter to watch Fantastic Beasts anyways that conversation uh I admitted that I had not read the Harry Potter series anyways I just have an inkling that he bought me the Harry Potter series so let's open also I've never seen a box like this from Amazon before it's like a rip and, and open situation <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I knew it. I had a feeling. Wow, he really bought me the entire series. That's a friend right there, that's wild. Hello, I did nothing yesterday. Barely nothing. I, I can't remember what I did actually yesterday. I know I went for a little picnic in the park and that's about it. So today I think will be the final day of this vlog and I'm gonna like really put my mind to finishing everything on my to-do list. Um, and I think really most of that is just cleaning because um, the reason I kind of like took a pause still has to do with getting my life together but i had two vlogs that i was like in the middle of never finished the last book that i was in the middle of for that vlog so um i decided to do that so i just finished doing that uploaded that edited the videos boom boom pow we love when things are finished i hate that i do that like kind of like do things like 90% of the way and then never finish that last 10%. So getting those like extra 10% done now feels really good. And now I can focus on the book that I want to read, which is The Kiss Countdown by Etta Easton. So I think what I'm going to try to do is maybe later on when I take a little like lunch break or something, I will read this. But since I'm going to be doing lots of like cleaning right now, which I did start this morning. Um, and I'm like, I'm so silly because I started off and I was wearing like a, a white shirt and I'm like, why would I clean in a white shirt? So I changed it into this, like I survived my freshman year shirt from college and I'm going to clean and I'm going to listen to the audiobook of A Feather So Black. Um, this is about a girl, um, so she is, what's her name, Fia? Fia essentially was created, she's a changeling, she was created by the Fae, um, and through, like, dark magic, so she was meant to, like, destroy or something. Anyway, so what the Fae did was they went into the kingdom, they took the princess turned her into a swan and then replaced her with the changeling via 
and made Fia look exactly like the princess. And so Fia now is, has been there for a few years since the princess was eight years old. And she grew up there. She was raised by the queen and um, grew up like next to this prince who she has like very obvious feelings for. But you know, she like she and everyone knows they can't be together because she is, you know, what she is, a changeling, um, dark magic. And that's all I know. I think that's enough. Um, they're going on a quest. So she's going on a quest to go and save the princess. And I think that pretty much encompasses the general gist of this book. Uh, I got the audiobook for free with that Amazon sale situation that's going on and a combination of my Kindle points. So I'm going to listen to this while I clean and today's gonna be much more productive. It, it looks a little sad right now, but it's gonna be so much better, <laughs> so. <laughs> I've uh, gotten some cleaning done, actually a lot of cleaning done. I literally made it through 38% of A Feather So Black, just listening to this. What? So, not bad. I just feel like it's not where I would have wanted to be, both in this book and in my to-do list today. Um, also, I flipped the cover of this because I didn't really, what's well, not that I didn't like the other one, but this, this, it had a re reversible dust jacket and this one was just so much prettier than the other one. Um, this is interesting. It's just a little bit slow right now. Um, there's like this weird tension going on between the main character and what I assume is the love interest. He's very much giving Dane right now, like from Fourth Wing. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to hate him or not, but I kind of do. <laughs> and there's like an explanation for his actions, but I'm not really, I don't know if I'm buying it. <laughs> so I kind of don't like him for her. Like she deserves better, even if that is the truth that he's saying, she deserves better. Um, also, I'm kind of a little bit sad because I thought there was going to be this, like, shadow daddy moment where she, you know, some things go down, but that's not really how it played out. So, we'll see. All of that is to say that, uh, this is quite interesting right now. Um, I was right about the synopsis because I was questioning that. Anyways. Um, and then... I was able to get a bunch of cleaning done. I um, went over because I have to, it's just like so many contracts with this <laughs> event that I'm planning, um, the murder mystery party. I ended up having to go to the office to go pick up a um, another contract. So this contract is for the event space except i wasn't able to like fully sign it because apparently i have to go through some process and get like insurance like event insurance so i have to pay and get event insurance in case anything happens during the event and then 
bring their certification of insurance to the office with like the check and the signed contract and then I'm set to go. I did, however, make her like put the name down like for Sherzy's. So the location is like set. It's just kind of like little things that you have to do. Like, honestly, how do event planners do this? Because every time I think about it, I realize another detail that I forgot. So like I thought about the location. I thought about the like entertainment. I thought about food and catering and then d decor right um and then i just remembered that we're having dinner so people need to eat on plates and forks and spoons and cups and and if i have cups that means hello beverages <laughs> ah! and i just remembered another thing right now is i need to figure out what i'm gonna do about the sound system Planning an event is a lot of work, y'all. And um, another thing on my to-do list, I need to make the invitations and send them out and have people RSVP so I have an accurate head count. Oh, you girls getting stressed just when I thought I had this all figured out. I don't. I have no clue what I'm doing. Did some editing right now. I think literally editing the video that you're watching because I realized that uh, it's better for me if I just get a head start because I've, I'm not good at keeping to a posting schedule. I'm like, not at all. Right now, I'm doing my best to kind of get serious about Mondays and Fridays at 2 p.m. Uh, so uh, feel free to hold me accountable. It's on the interwebs. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid putting it on the interwebs in case I don't make it, uh, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We're holding ourselves accountable and you can hold me accountable too. So I'm going to cook and then like re-clean the kitchen. And then my room is pretty much clean. Uh, I don't make much of a mess in here. Like literally my biggest problem is this like, you can't see it my beanbag chair <laughs> um that is the dumping ground where all things go to die uh because i come home and i dump my clothes on there i dump my bag on there and um it just becomes my laundry pile and things get lost in there and um that's really the only thing that needs to be cleaned in my room. I'm kind of proud of myself for being such a clean person. <laughs> I just talked so much. <laughs> so I'm going to cut that clip and start partially over. Um, I am mostly done with cleaning. I'm going to... Uh, I just ordered groceries to get to the house, so I'm waiting for those to get here so I can cook dinner and then finish cleaning the kitchen. You know, your girl has to do some reading of the Kiss Countdown at some point. Um, I think I'm like, this is like a halfway-ish point in this book. It's it's all right it's it's not bad it's just i feel that this is very much like just following the formula of every romance book ever except just add a little space <laughs> like space like like because he's an astronaut and he talks about like the moon and and the stars and stuff and like everything he knows about space um yeah it's it's weird because that's like kind of his only like personality trait other than he sometimes seems a little bit like overprotective of her uh and then her only personality traits seem to be um she is an event planner she's allergic to dogs and she cannot control her attraction to this man i don't think it's like bad like it's not like these characters are so flat i can't deal with them like they seem so unreal like it's not like that at all but it just feels like it needs a little 
Gaston, you know, to like really grip me. Not saying that it's a bad book at all. Like I, I am enjoying it. It's just that extra little something to make it like different, you know? Right now this is like a very like three star, like low three star book right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> I feel like I keep thinking I'm going to be able to get all these things done and like I literally like I cleaned my butt off today. I swore I couldn't even sit in and see because I was just cleaning all day and I didn't even finish A Feather So Black because that audiobook is so long. Um, I didn't finish The Kiss Countdown because I was cleaning for so long. So um neither of these books are done and i did a lot of cleaning but i didn't get to um my room because uh dinner was late i had this little fiasco basically i ordered my groceries on uber eats so that it would arrive by the time that i was done cleaning and then i could cook dinner and sit down and read um the guy who delivered my order dropped off a giant box of beer and a container of ramen noodles. So I called him to tell him that I think he gave me somebody else's order. And he's like, no, that was your order. So, and then he mumbled something and hung up on me. So that was upsetting. I reached out to Uber Eats and had them like refund me. And then I think like, 40 minutes later or something I heard like some shuffling at my door so I decided to like check it out and it turns out he didn't say anything I already didn't knock on the door didn't knock downstairs he came back and he put my groceries at my door so um that's when I ended up starting dinner because honestly before that I was about to give up I was about to have sleep for dinner <laughs> I was so done with the day i also spend like a whole hour this the, like event planning i understand why people hire event planners um i wish i you know w one day i will have the funds for that today is not that day because this is insane like i thought it was just gonna be like you know you sign one contract you fork over the coins and you know figure out the food situation no i have to get like event insurance for the venue um before i can get approved for the venue and then um decor i'm really stuck on so i'm gonna put them here help me out in the comments what you think i should do um i i really like the look of like a black table with black chair covers love it however everyone's gonna be wearing all black so i feel like i don't want to put people wearing black on black on black <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of black um so then my other option is i guess like a black table with red chairs and then that way like everyone will be wearing black like it'll you know contrast i just like i'm not super sold on how that looks the other option is just to tell them like not to do the all black thing so, but I would hate that. I want them. I want it to be like all black. I want it to look like chic uniform, you know. Um, now I'm gonna wear a red dress. I'm torn. All of that is to say, I think I spent like 40 minutes trying to decide this, and I didn't end up deciding anything. Um, but I did clean the entire house. I think tomorrow I just have to. Um, do the clothes i didn't get to the clothes but i'm too tired now i'm gonna wash my face and watch an episode of percy jackson hopefully fall asleep and then tomorrow we will do the clothes and then i have a whole nother to-do list that i have to get started on Woo, we'll make that tomorrow and it will be a problem for another day hopefully i came on here to rant about the kiss countdown which is in a cover what do you what do you a book checking 
I don't know, Charlie, but this is the kiss countdown. I am at the third act situation. <sighs> like at first, I'm like, all right, this is just a romance novel. It has all of the typical things that a romance novel has like it's fine it's pretty mid then i started to notice like little things that were really irking me um like i feel like the like the main character has a best friend and i'm not really sure what her purpose in the book is uh like first of all she ghosts this girl because she has feelings she doesn't know how to communicate them and she's just like i can't deal with it i'm gonna go to somebody else and not my best friend uh somebody else who i can't stand which makes no sense to me and then isn't even really there to like talk through or be there for the main character through like the issues she's having with the like male love interest honestly she's just there for the tea <laughs> that's all she does she's like spill the tea girl let's hear the tea and then just like ghosts her so i'm not really sure what purpose the best friend has then there's the male love interest first of all she constantly says that he's annoying and he's annoying and he's annoying like that he annoys her but then there's nothing that he ever does where she's like annoyed by it so it doesn't make sense that she's always saying that he's annoying like in her like she says it like to herself in her head like oh he's he's not being as annoying as he usually is like girl when has he ever been annoying make it make sense i feel like it's just that like he like he randomly my guy has no personality except for space okay he just randomly starts like spewing random space facts because he's an astronaut i feel like i'm ragging on this book so bad right now it's not like bad it's just that these little details are just like You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so Vincent, his personality is just space. And you know what? I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, can I really complain? Because my personality is just books. <laughs> it's all I talk about. So, <gasps> am I annoying? <laughs> Awkward. Anyway. There's that. Then there's the fact that he is like, oh, we're finally, you know, like things finally like heat up because she constantly talks about this attraction to him and how considerate and how he, she's falling for him. But I don't actually see like, I don't see it. I don't see them like connecting throughout all of this it feels like she's just kind of detailing a list of like events and like there's the moments where like he does something and she's like oh that's so like considerate of him like he puts a stool he left a stool in the shower for her because she had a bum ankle like okay yeah that's considerate but like those like little moments of connection that they have like together I uh, like you don't really see that until they actually like get together so that like frustrates me and then when she does like think about him it's mostly like in an objectifying way I mean I'm not saying she's objectifying him but like it definitely is just like oh his muscles <laughs> he picked up the chair without even thinking about it like it was the lightest thing in the world um and he shows her no interest and then he ghosts her everyone ghosts this girl <laughs> just I'm so, everyone ghosts her so he ghosts her and then comes back and acts like nothing's wrong and she's like um 
rude you think you're just gonna come up here and then she doesn't know how to communicate so she just starts being a witch with a b and then he's just like oh if you missed me just say that like if you want me to punch you just say that <laughs> what how is that the solution to any problem? How about you ask her why she's mad, my guy? And then we'll talk about, okay, the entire purpose of the fake dating is that basically like this girl's there to be a buffer so his mom won't complain so much and push him away because he wants to go to space. And then all of a sudden they went from like, we don't talk about our attraction till we're in love and I don't want you to go to space either. Ma'am, are you confused? We did it! We finished. We finished everything. We're doing great. What I didn't finish was A Feather So Black. I'm like 50% through that book. That is a long book. <laughs> a really long book but so I don't see myself finishing that anytime soon but you can uh, go in the description and check my Instagram or my Goodreads and I will make sure to post a review there when I'm done hopefully in like two days or something but I did finish the kiss countdown I I think it's like a 2.5 stars if I'm being honest I'm going to round it up to three on Goodreads because you can't do lower than full ratings. What do you call those? Half stars. You can't do half stars on Goodreads. Um, the, what's the word? The, the grand gesture at the end. It was just not grand enough for me. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. So, <laughs> I'm a little upset about that. Um, it was a right. It was okay. Honestly, I went on a whole rant yesterday, last night, so there's not much to say about this. I'm just glad to be done. Anyways, you made it this far. Leave a rocket ship or a star or a moon emoji down in the comments or all three if you're an overachiever like me. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you want to join the family. <laughs> I'll see you all when I see you next. Bye.